my friends, how are you today? In the studio today, I am going to be doing value studies. In my previous video where I painted my very first landscape painting, I asked for some hints and tips and any courses that you would recommend me taking in learning to paint landscapes. I got so many wonderful, amazing tips and helpful advice and courses and YouTubers recommendation. Thank you so, so very much. One of the advice I got was to take Nathan Falk's landscape painting landscape sketching course which i will link down below that's not affiliate or anything and i really like the look of it i love his teaching style i feel like i've finally found a teacher that does painting that does it in a way that i like it i've seen a lot of courses where the artist just paints along and tells you about like pick this color and use this brush but they don't talk about how they came to that design. Normally the paper already has a sketch on it and you have no idea what the sketch looks like. And I really, really struggled with that because that was very, very intimidating because I didn't know how to take a picture or a photo or a view into a painting, into a design of a painting in the first place. Whereas Nathan Fox course is like, this is how you design it. And I was like, that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. One of the exercises that he recommends you doing is a value study. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing the pencil version today because that felt a little bit less intimidating than doing the value studies in painting form. Since I've never ever done a value study either, I find I find this whole thing quite intimidating anyway. If you've been a long-term viewer of this channel, you know that I've been really struggling with resistance in painting for like almost a year. And that's how I ended up doing so much color studies and learn about color theories instead, because it's useful knowledge that I can, I felt it was easier for me to learn and I had less resistance to than in actually getting on with painting. So I still have all this resistance running in the back, but this feels like a nice, gentle, easy, shallow step in to creating paintings again. I've created a Pinterest board of Scottish landscape artists since I live in Scotland and I want to learn landscape and I love Scottish landscape artists work. So I've put together a Pinterest pin board, which I will link down below, where you can check out all the paintings that I've chosen. And I'll be working from that pin board. So it'd be fun to see if you recognize which study is for which painting. But yes, let's see how it goes. I'm going to be using my Kurutoga mechanical pencil. If you don't know this pencil, it is awesome. It basically rotates the lead as you write so you always have a sharp point which is brilliant for what I tend to use pencils for I usually need a really fine point I've got a B lead in here which is I think what he recommends you do for this exercise I've actually the reason why it says B on here is because I have bought a lot of these and put lots of different uh, hardness of lead in here I bought these when I was in Japan I don't think I've done a Japanese shopping art haul for you guys have I hmm maybe I'll do that as a video for you but one of the things I bought were these because they're so cheap over there you can just buy like 10 and it doesn't really hurt your wallet so I've got things like the pink ones tend to be the B ones and the blue ones are the H ones and I got up to 4B on the B side and 4H on the other side. Yes, I will definitely do an art for video for you guys. I didn't buy much while I was in Japan because as you know, that's not what I was in Japan for. I was there to look after my mom who was ill, but I did buy a few things. So I will make a quick video for you guys on that one. <laughs>
so that was actually i'm way more tired than i thought i was gonna be i only drew for about 45 minutes i did six drawings but man i am tired i can feel tiredness in my eyes just from keep looking at the painting on the photo and then looking at what i'm drawing and just keep going back and forth but also like mentally it really does take brain power to try and look at a color and figure out a value rather than saying just the color itself it, you have to do a conversion into value in your brain and that was really really taxing i'm sure it will get easier and less taxing as i do more so these are the sketches i've done i did six in total at the start was the first one i was like drawing all the lines really in detail and marking out all the different shapes and then i realized that's not what i'm supposed to be doing i'm supposed to be marking out big value shapes so this was the tightest one out of the lot and this is the one that i spent the most amount of time on then i moved on to this one i enjoyed doing this way more than this one because it was a simpler shape i simplified it more and i enjoyed doing this the most i also moved on to sketching from photos this was a painting this is from a photo and i found that a lot easier to do and then i did these and you can see the difference between this one and this one in how much looser I've become and simplifying the shapes down, which is what you're supposed to be doing. And then I moved on to these two. And here I actually swapped my B pencil for a 2B pencil. And that was just because I was finding that the darkest dark wasn't dark enough for how i wanted to do it and swapping out to the 2b pencil made it a lot easier for me to have a much wider range of value and therefore get the dark darks in i also found with drawing these sketches it was easier for me if i do the line work and then map out the darkest shape first i got into all sorts of trouble not doing that to begin with especially in this one and then from about here onwards i figured out i find it easier if i do the darker stack first i've learned a lot about how to do value studies but i also feel like i've cheated a little bit because the photos although they're not purely monochromatic and being black and white because the scottish landscape can be more monotone ish it was a lot easier to do the conversion from color to value i feel that it'd be a lot harder for paintings that are full of color so i think i made my life a little bit easier which i don't mind doing it as my first goal while i was feeling anxious but i am looking forward to doing the next step which is to do value studies with gouache black and white gouache and challenge myself more so maybe i'll do half photos to get myself into it and then move on to color paintings that are full of colors that are a little bit more harder to establish what the value of the color is rather than just having your eyes stolen to the colors themselves i hope you enjoyed watching me do these color studies and i hope it encourages you to do your own color studies whether it be landscape or any other kind of painting you like to do thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video Bye.